Welcome to the channel. This reading will be for the water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Who do you have a crush on? And what do they feel about you? If you're new here, hey, I'm Melissa. I like to be a fly on the wall. I like to buzz through the blinds of the person on my mind. And right now, I want to tune into the water signs that might find this. See if we can peek in on the person you have a crush on. See what they're thinking and feeling about you. If uh, you are not subscribed, please consider doing so. If you want to donate to me, you can buy me a coffee. And if you guys want a personal reading, contact me through email. And uh, timestamps will be in the description. And we are going to start with our friends, the Cancers. Cancer Energies. Who do you have a crush on? And what are they feeling about you? And if you don't resonate with this reading, check out my playlist. You might find your message over there. Okay. Show me, um, Cancer, who do you have a crush on? Show me a little bit how you, I want to see what you're feeling about your crush and who they are. Show me a little something, please, about the Cancer's crush. What is Cancer? Feel, oh, the moon. So, it could be a Pisces. Could be a Pisces. I see an Eight of Swords here. I see the Chariot. That's uh, Cancer Energy. You. I see an Ace of Cups, and under that I see a Tower. And this Devil's peeking out to me. Okay. Cancer. So, it doesn't have to be a Pisces Energy, but it might be. Um, this person... This is either saying that you are, have left your feelings in the dark about this person. Like, you're not going... You're not verbalizing to this person necessarily your feelings. You might even have some dark feelings about this person. Um, they might make you a little crazy. Okay? This uh, Eight of Swords. This is the person that binds themselves to memories, things, you know, of the past. Things that cannot be changed, okay? But... Usually, for me, this is an energy that binds themselves, like keeps themselves um, tied to these things. Mm, this could be something you may have had an experience with this person that at one time you held on to, this representing your energy. And this could talk about that you kind of like are trying to move away from that. This Ace of Cups, this is about the new beginning of love. Um, you might be in a place in your life where you're trying to release things of the past. If the things here in this Eight of Swords have nothing to do with this energy, this crush, this could just represent how things in the past, relationships, certain events that have happened in your life, experiences have affected you, you know, and you might be in a place now where you're trying to let it go. Not allow those things to influence your new relationships, okay? Um, and that you desire to have this, like, new, this new path of love. Being open to love, sharing, um, the feelings. This tower could talk about how you may have been knocked off your high horse at some point, whether it has to do with this person or not, like, in your life. You may have released some demons with this devil, Sticking, just it's peeking out here. So it just stands out to me. Um, yeah. So this could be more about like you, Cancer, just being on a journey, your own path, and kind of like keeping your feelings for this crush in the dark. Um, okay. So whatever their sign is. So let me now see what what is the this crush feeling about the cancer? Show me please this person. Let's peek. Let's peek please through the blinds and show me the crush on the cancer's mind. What do they feel? Okay, the 6 of swords. So this could be a person that 
left, moved. Um, why is this here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Magician, the King of Wands, and a Page of Wands. I'm not sure how I feel about that yet. Um, but this is Gemini energy, this King of Wands, fire energy, and we have a Page of Wands here. Which I usually say is like, this page is like, impulsive. So, wands are impulsive energy, creative energy, sometimes... Um, you know, passionate, driven energy, okay? I was trying to think of a word that... Okay. Um, <clears throat> so I usually say, for me, this page. Pages are messages. <clears throat> usually, like, an impulsive message. Passionate message. Um, but this is, like, the person that's, like, in the moment. They don't think about the past, the future. They're just, like, in the moment. All right. So there's a Queen of Cups here. So this could be a water energy, that Pisces, that, that moon that we saw before. Uh, could Sometimes I say this is the uh, Scorpio, feminine Scorpio energy. So this is the person that is sometimes indulging or it, like in their emotions, to, like allowing their emotions to drive their decisions. Maybe not making the best decisions, maybe hitting the bottle, like she is here in this, you know, reverse, like, yeah, kind of in a dark place. Um, let's see what fell out. Now, because this, for me, is sometimes a person escaping, like, the, it's the Six of Swords, okay? It's the person that's leaving, sometimes it's talking about, like, this crush may have um, moved someplace, Maybe across water, like a body of water divides the two places you guys live. For some of you. Um, usually I say it's a person escaping a situation. So, I don't know. Let's see. A few came out here, so let's see what's here. Let's see what's here. Okay. We have a page of swords. Usually I say this is the person, like, they're not really talking. They're kind of watching. Instead of talking, they're stalking. The high priestess, this is an energy that's, like, keeping things to themselves. Sometimes I say it's someone that we look at, like, like they think they're smarter than us or something. Sometimes I say it's a person that needs to pray or is, um on like a journey, you know, with the kind of sometimes what I say with the Hierophant, like they're on a journey, you know, with, to find a higher power or looking for, you know, answers on a journey within kind of like, you know, hermit stuff, like energy. Three of Wands. This is, so sometimes people associate, like when you see a lot of threes, it could have to do with third parties. But for me, this, and especially in this card, this is a person that's, like, choosing the path they want to walk down, and they're walking down it. Like, in reverse here, you see he's just stifled on the journey, not really going anywhere. But this energy looks like they know where they're headed, okay? Um, I don't know how I'm feeling about this page here. Okay, Queen of Swords... This can sometimes be a cold energy, like she has her sword up. Head over heart, you know, thinking head over heart. Not being driven, you know, by emotions. So this could be a person that used to drink and they're not drinking anymore, or like used to indulge in certain things that made them more, made their decisions more impulsive, okay? And this person, so like... If they're not a Gemini, this person, like, in, if what I'm saying is resonating, and under that I see this Knight of Cups. Um, this could be a person that, for some of you, um, that used to, like, indulge in certain things and has left that life behind. If this didn't represent what I said before about them 
a sip. It could have been they were escaping their old self. Like, trying to balance themselves, okay? Or this could be how they see the scorp- um, I'm sorry, the cancer energy. This is about a new beginning. You know, like being rooted. Um, this is sometimes someone being focused on money. Um, the star card, possible Aquarius energy. This is about a wish, a dream, a, like aspirations, okay? And sometimes um, I say like the way she's pouring the water out to the river. This is an energy that like has, is giving it to God. A person that's letting go. So if there's any, if, if you're resonating with what I was saying about what could be going on with this cup, you know, like releasing certain things from the life, you know, I'm feeling that here too with this person pouring, pouring it out. I don't want to hold it up as much because the TNA YouTube doesn't like the art, you know, anyways. And I don't want to draw on the stack. This is the ten of... I'm sorry, the nine of pentacle. So, this is a person that's, uh... About their happiness. Their individual, like, personal... Um, independence. I get thrown off because in this nine... In this, in this deck, it looks a lot like the... Ten of pentacles... It's almost the same art, except on the Ten of Pentacles, they are like, they look more like a king and queen or empress and emperor, and they're standing more on a balcony, but the doors are open behind them, and it looks like this, like, yeah. and usually in the Nine of Pentacles, it's an energy that's uh, a, f a feminine energy, usually, that is just, you know, standing in their garden, surrounded by what they've earned, what they've built, Okay. So, and here we end with temperance and this energy. I'm really feeling like this is um, a reading for someone who's dealing with a person that... It doesn't have to be, like, alcohol, but the cups, you, you know, these cups. Um, or, or something bad, like, um, but this person has moved on. It could be that they've moved on from a relationship that they were in with the person that was, you know, what I'm describing. Um, but that's what I'm feeling there, really. Have, and, yeah, right. Temperance is all about moderation, balance. And, again, with the cup, you know, pouring out, balancing. Temperance is about balancing the cups, okay? So, Cancer, this person you have a crush on, I don't see them being... Fo it's almost like if you did have... For some of you, you may have had some sort of... um encounter, whether it was, like, physical or just, you know, didn't have to go that deep, but you have a crush on them, obviously, that's where you want to peek in on them, and that's why you'd be here if you're resonating with this reading. And like I said, if you're not, check out my playlist, you know, I have, readings are timeless, you know, you find them when you're meant to, but this person, it's, you know, this page of uh, swords... So, if they do have feelings, they're not expressing that right now. They might be watching, like, from a distance, okay? But this energy is just, like, coming out of a place where they are focused on balancing their cups. Like I said, they may have left, if this isn't representing them... Like, moving on from whatever this represents for them. Whether it's a behavior, a way of life, or an old, like, a person. Uh, and it's almost like they might be... Because usually I associate this with the person... And sometimes a person, I say, that's a bit flighty with the information that they share. Like, holding back information. Or when they share information... It's it's not it's little it's a little, they don't share, they hold back, they just share what's necessary. They only say what's necessary, and there's not much necessary to say. Is what I'm getting, okay? And I see Sag energy in the Temperance again, 
could be possible Pisces. This for me is like a feminine Scorpio energy. But Queen of Cups. There's a Gemini and there's fire energy here. Alright guys, that's what I'm seeing there for the Cancers. Um, and uh, we're going to move on to Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, who do you have a crush on? What do they feel about you? And again, if um, you don't resonate with this reading, check out my playlist. You might find your message there. You know, they're timeless when you find them. You're meant to. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. Thank you in advance for that. All right, guys, let's see. Show me, uh, who just can't, uh, sorry, Scorpio. Show me a Scorpio has a crush on, please. I see the devil, I see the ace of wands, a nine of pentacles, I see a five of cup, and I see a page of sword. Okay, so, possible um, Capricorn energy. If not, um, it's the devil card, it's the devil card. You might be a bit obsessed with your crush, Scorpio, and I'm saying that because I see this ace of wands as well. Like, you might be really about... Um, ah, <laughs> oh, YouTube, why can't you let me talk how I want, uh, making me try to find words to express these things, basically, alright, so if you did have an experience with this person, it doesn't necessarily mean you went all the way, you know, but, like, you either think about that, right, <laughs> if you're a masculine, you might... <laughs> Is, is everyone getting what I'm selling here? Are you buying what I'm selling? Are you, 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 you reading between the lines? Someone's holding on either to their dingy alingies or, is, you know, when they're thinking about this crush um, or the moment that already was experienced together, like remembering that. Um, I even just saw in my head that some of them might be I don't know if they have a photo or a video or something. I don't know why, but that flashed in my head. When I saw, all right. Anyway, for some of you, for some of you, don't freak out if you know. All right. <laughs> okay. Scorps. If they're not a Capricorn, um, this devil energy is really making me feel like you have been thinking about them maybe obsessively. Uh. Okay, that's how this, you might know this is your reading. Um, if not, like I just expressed before, you were there, what I said about, you know, being attached to a moment. Um, and if it's not like being obsessed with, you know, the experience, the thought of it, the person, it's talking about like the desire to, um, you know, <laughs> A feeling like you could have an experience with this energy that would be, like, uh, super fulfilling, maybe a fantasy fulfilled, okay? Something, something to that effect. You get what I, I'm trying to be careful about what I say, because, uh, I don't want to get, you know, demonic, not, you know what I'm saying. It could be weird up here about how you say things, Okay. And the cards. That's why some cards I put my thumb over the things. I don't want to draw on this deck. All right. Now this... This Nine of Pentacles. So, I just got this card in the Cancer reading. And I said, like, how I feel. Like, this is an odd Nine of Pentacles. Because usually it's a single energy just focused on their independence. And so, sometimes I feel this when I use my, uh... One of my other decks. But... The image here, and it just flashed, so I'm just going to say it. This, this crush you have, Scorpio, you might resonate with this. Because this person you have a crush on, they might... You, you're you like a single person, or in, really, in if you've been about your independence, you might visualize yourself, like, giving up your independence for this energy. If they are a single energy, that if that resonates for the crush then you desire and hope that they would want to, you know, share 
like, see this more as a ten of pentacle instead of a nine. Because that's what I feel when I look at that image. It's... And, um, yeah, this person makes you appreciate what you have. Like, they may... Almost, I just heard, like, um, looking at the bright side of life, okay? And I'm feeling like maybe you don't normally do that. Oh, and so under this page of, uh, sword is this four of wands. So I'm also feeling like you, unless this person actually lives with someone else, because that's what this sometimes means, this four of wands, or is engaged to someone else, or thinking about being engaged to someone else, um, this represents that you might be like, and that's why I felt what I felt, this devil, like, be, if you are, like, kind of obsessed with thinking about them, this could talk about, like, you've been watching, you, instead of talking, you're stalking, you're watching, for some of you, this could be a roommate, I just felt that, that's very specific, and not for everyone, obviously, but I just felt that, all right, Scorpio, let's see what this crush is feeling about you. Alright. Okay, what does uh, Scorpio's crush feel about them? Show me, please. What is this crush feeling about Scorpio? Show me. What is the crush feeling about the Scorpio energy? Let's see what came out here. Alright. On the bottom I see a ten of wands, a hermit, a queen of pentacle. There's a two of pentacle. Eight of cup. Seven of cup. A six of sword. Okay, Scorpio. This person you have a crush on... Um, so this is the card of burden, the ten of uh, wands. Here the person, usually I describe the ten of wands as, like, life has burdens. It's all how a person carries them, and I usually say, when this is representing a person I'm peeking in on, like, oh, this person isn't carrying the burden very well. And here the art really shows that, like, when I describe that. And also, like, this person looks, they're bandaged up. Like, they're a mess. Uh, they're falling apart here. Like, the things in life cause them, like, just... But here, you see, like, wow. And I, I even had a reading in my earlier uploads where I was, like, describing, like, that's how a person should carry this, <laughs> the wands. Because sometimes in the art, I'm like, how is they... Anyway. This is a person who carries things well. And I'm also saying that because I see this hermit here. If they're not a Virgo or an earth sign, because uh, I see this pentacle here, this queen of pentacle here, and also there's a three of pentacle under that. Okay, okay. This is an energy that is like, they might be like a serious person if they're not a Virgo. This is someone who is all about being stable. There's stable energy here, okay? Even here, it's like they're focused on their money, they're focused on work. The Six of Wands under this. They're focused on their achievements, what they're trying... Either they're recent... They may have just, like, graduated or got a new job. There's something they're proud of. You, For some of you, maybe this is someone you've met at a job or at work. I don't know. Because this Three of Pentacles is about the people we work with. Some In relationship readings, sometimes I say, it's like, the person isn't working with us, or we want to work with this person to build something, and, you know. But I'm, I'm feeling like this is legit, like this person is about their work, okay? Um, yeah. They're very, I'm feeling a very serious energy here. The way they carry things. So, now, this is the Two of Pentacles, which is like the juggler. This is the Eight of Cups. 
This is someone who walks away from the cups, even though they have feelings for whatever's in the cups, the motions and such. They walk away because they feel like it's not serving them. It's not benefiting them. Okay, here in reverse, the person cannot walk away. They're just staring at it. It's pouring. They're just staring at what they cannot walk away from. But here, they walk away. They're even wearing the similar, you know, the same kind of clothes. This here, the juggler. And here you have, the, this is the seven of cups. The person that is all about the choices in life. Each cup represents a different thing in life, a different focus, a different path. And they're kind of like the person that is like looking at the choices they have in life or they have chosen or they need to choose something. Okay. This could have been a person, this, this person you have a crush on, could be an energy that when it comes to um, money, when it comes to things like in the, when it comes to things in their life that have to do with Building a future, that's what I just heard. Like, they have no no trouble going down the path, making choices, like seeing what needs to be done. Like, there's burdens, they carry them well. They could even, for some of these people, they could feel like relationships are, are a burden that is not part of what they want to carry right now. Because they're just like very like focused on themselves, seeing just what, just be, this is the hermit energy. For me, this is a person that is okay with being alone. Like, that could be the thing too for some of the, if they're not a Virgo and it's not, this could be just someone that doesn't really notice or see the way the Scorpio feels, um, the the Page of Swords that we saw for Scorpio. If that's res if you're resonating with this reading about like you know what we pulled on the Scorpio's feelings, it could be that Scorpio has not verbalized at all to this person. You know, like this person would not have any idea how Scorpio feels because I'm not seeing it here at all. Um. For some of you, this could be a person that ghosted Scorpio. Because sometimes that's what the hermit energy is. For some of you, if, if that resonates, this could be a person that ghosted because the connection was a burden for whatever reason. Um, and they just like went off to focus on their money, their work, you know... Or if it was a third party, which I'm not seeing other threes that make me feel that necessarily, but like, you know, other cards that make me feel that. But for some of you, that could be the case. If it resonates, it resonates. But this person I'm feeling, it's more about, for most of you, what I just said before. Like, I don't even think, oh, and look, there you are, stalking, not like, yeah, this could be like an independent person. So here again... I see this Nine of Pentacles, we just saw that before, and this Page of Swords. And I'm feeling that has to do with the Scorpio. So I feel like Scorpio, this could be a friend. This could be a person that you kind of just, from, that you're not verbalizing or sharing, that you kind of like think about them, like you wish they weren't an independent energy, or like you wish they would want to like, be more Ten of Pentacle instead of Nine of Pentacle energy. Okay? Um, yeah, I feel like they're just work-focused and they don't even see... Like, even here, she's just looking at that coin. She doesn't even see, like, he's watching. You know, that Page of Swords is like... Is not talking, they're stalking. Um... And maybe you feel like you can't say anything because this could be a person that just left a situation. And maybe that's why they're not paying attention. They're just focused on, like, their career or building, you know, their, like, looking within, looking at life a new way, focused on themselves. They may have just 
They may have just left a bad relationship and they're feeling good about being independent. This could be a person that was recently divorced, like really went, you know, like that's very specific and not for everyone. Like, yeah, this person could be just about, they could have walked away from something because here I'm feeling a heavy energy and I don't feel like it has to do with the Scorpio. For some of you, maybe that's what that, if it does, then that's what that hermit energy being about ghosting, if that resonated. Because this is someone leaving something, escaping something, okay? Going towards something better, all right? Um, and yeah, here this energy is even like asleep. They're not even, they're just dreaming about their different options. They're not even choosing a cup. It's like they walked away from something that, that didn't fulfill them anymore. Uh, so yeah, all right. That's what I'm seeing for Scorpio's crush. Like, if you're resonating. This person, I'm, I'm feeling like you haven't really verbalized anything to them. You're just kind of watching. And they wouldn't even know. But I don't know. It, it could be because you know this energy. Like, you know they just left, like, if that resonated. Like, they left something that was a burden. They're just learning how to carry themselves as an independent energy. They may have even verbalized to you just as a friend or whatever, as a person in their life, that they're just about, because they don't have any idea about your feelings at all. That's what I'm, that this crush has no idea what the Scorpio feels for them, okay, at all. And it could be that you haven't verbalized it at all. They have no idea. And it could be because you know they just went towards independence and they might not be ready to share emotions they're about themselves they're about being kind of they're happy being independent and that's how you would resonate with this you know that like they've expressed that they verbalized that i feel or you see it from their actions because they're like if they're feminine they're like it's ladies night oh what a night i don't want no man um here with my cups having margaritas Woo! Or if they're a masculine, they're like, I'm going fishing with the guys or by myself on my boat. Don't care about no one else. Going in my man cave to watch the game. I don't know. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? I just, that's what I'm feeling from this. All right, guys. Sorry about the bad songs. Um, That's what I'm seeing there for Scorpios, if you're resonating. All right, guys. Now we're going to go to the Pisces. Okay, Pisces, who do you have a crush on, and what do they feel about you? And uh, if you don't resonate with this reading, check out the playlist. Readings are timeless. You find them when you're meant to. You might resonate with one of those. But let's see if we can tune in, see who you have a crush on. And if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. Thanks very much in advance for that. And if you have any requests of specific zodiac signs you want to see readings on, things like that, leave it in the comments. Let me know. Thank you, guys. Show me. Who does uh, Pisces have a crush on? Show me something about that, please, first. Show me. Who does Pisces have a crush on? Okay. Uh, okay. Look at all these swords here. It's, okay. Oh, my gosh. What's up with all these swords? Oh, my God. Pisces. <laughs> As I was uh, shuffling, I was like, give me a good one for Pisces. But I don't know. Let's see where this goes. Because I see a seven of swords here. Uh, if you're not new to my readings, you know how I feel about the seven of swords. And if you're new to my readings and tarot, uh, the seven of swords is... A liar, a sneak, sometimes a thief. So these kind of came out to the side. So, all right. We see a king of swords here. I see a four of swords. I see a two of swords, and I see a tower. Possible air sign. Um, if not, this is a person that you might see as being cold. If not, Pisces, this is a person you might see as being really smart, like very intelligent, um, someone that... Is headed over heart, usually I say, okay, with the king of sword energy. 
I mean, he doesn't look like a nasty person here, nothing. He's He looks like he's thinking, like he's got his finger to his chin. Oh, no, is that his head? He's holding his, you know, his fist to his chin. He's, like, thinking deep thoughts. Maybe he's thinking of you. Maybe you're hoping he's thinking of you. <laughs> All right. Um, but I'm going to say you, Pisces, I'm not sure what went on here for some of you. Because... This is the Four of Swords, so this is, like, for me, the knight that's been through a battle. Like, here, the knight didn't make it back from the battle. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. It's not funny. They look, their face, can you see it? It's like, oh, it just looks bad. Heavy duties. But here, they're resting, and they're, like, in a meditative state. And usually, we say, like, this person is quiet. They're keeping, like, to themselves their thoughts. They're in their thoughts, okay? And here, I have a Two of Swords, which is... Usually I say this is the person that has their, themselves blindfolded, their heart closed off to what I say is a truth within that they don't want to face. The moon there especially makes me feel that the moon, like the things we keep in the dark that we keep from ourselves. And here it's like in reverse, this two of swords is very kind of, I don't know, that red. It's very, like almost like they put something to rest is what, you know, mm. Put something, you know, left it. Leave it behind, faced it for what it was, and left, leave it to rest. But here, they're not really facing it. And there's a tower here. This could be a person that you feel, with this tower card specifically. And here, we have the fool underneath it. So, that immediately makes me feel like, Pisces, you could feel like you've been fool. You're foolish for this energy, this crush you have. You're foolish about this person. You would do foolish things for this person, maybe. Is how you might resonate with this. And this person, when I see this crown, I feel like when I'm looking at this tower, I'm feeling this crush makes Pisces feel like they drop their ego. Like they have no ego with this person. This crown, it's falling. Um, like, they make you feel, you may even get, you know, that, what's that expression? You get weak in the knees, okay? Like, you drop, like, you become naive for this energy. You feel, you know, this, this fool. Like, uh, you want, uh, yeah, all right. You might be foolish for this energy, and I don't feel like you're necessarily expressing that, verbalizing that. But... I don't know. Let's see what's on in the Seven of Swords here. So this could be something like you. This makes me feel like you're on the fence about these feelings. When I see cards on the side for me, that's like the person's on the fence, the, the, or they're back and forth about their feelings about this. So the first thing I see is the Seven of Swords, and I hate that card. So this could be a sneaky person. So what we're gonna look at here could be like Pisces. You might be on the fence about. If this person, this crush you have, if they're honest, if they are an upfront person, okay? You might be making them or seeing them smarter than they really are. Or this could represent that they are a slick. I just heard, like, you know, they think they're slick or something. So if you didn't have some sort of experience with them, that was a tower that left you having to start over, like, to a new beginning, okay? Then, because some... If not, whatever, you know, if you're resonating, you're resonating. If this is a person you had an experience with, that you're being blind to, right? And it led to a tower where you had to start over, and that's what this has to do with, that they worsen... All right, let's see. So here we have a, a Knight of Cups, so, that's the person that comes forth with the actions of love. This person here, they're coming with the cup up, ready. You know, here they're not, they're not, they're looking away. They're not coming, they're, they're, they're not, com they're not coming with um, the message that you want to hear. This is the four of pentacle. Here they're greedy. They're a miser. They're like holding on to what they have, not sharing. Here they are a more giving energy. They're like coming forth with um, the love upright, coming forth with the information or, you know, what 
They're willing to share things. Upright. Emperor. Possible Aries energy. The Emperor upright is like the Papa Bear, I sometimes say. It's the leader that we trust and we follow them and because we can trust them and we should follow them. But in reverse, they're a bully. They're misusing their power. Um, they're sneaky uh, in reverse. So you could be on the fence about if, if you have a crush on this person and we're going to peek in on them now and you have had some sort of experience with them, then you could be on the fence about if they, if you might not be fully trusting your instincts. Maybe you went through something, if this tower does not have to do with them, and this fool doesn't have to do with them as far as an experience, like, you know, then it could be that you went through some sort of tower where you, you know, um, are questioning your own intuition with that crown, like you're not trusting your power, your intuition, and you're feeling like you might be foolish to feel the things you're feeling about this person, okay? It might be that. And, and you might be, in general, it might not be that this person is sneaky, we'll find out. It could be that, you know, you just don't trust anyone. Like, you feel like everyone in, is dishonest, maybe, um, you know, something like that. All right, let's see about this crush. Let's see if we can peek in on them if you are resonating. And again, if you're not, check out the playlist. You might find your message there. But let's see if you are resonating. If we can peek in on this person, let's see what, what they're feeling about you. My Pisces. My Pisces, my fishies. And if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. And if I didn't mention it already, if you have if your requests of specific zodiac signs you want to see readings on, leave it in the comments, let me know. Show me what the crush is feeling. If Pisces is resonating. Seven of Pentacles. Well, this is the person that plants seeds to watch things they've planted grow. And in this upright position, she's enjoying the, the fruit of her labor, is usually what I say when I see this. In reverse, she's like, man. She's all surrounded by what looks like delicious, ripe foods, but she's not eating. So, what does this mean? Why is this here? Um... Oh, why is this here? Sorry, I made that noise with my mouth. I saw something and I wasn't sure if I should say it. So here's the emperor again. Justice, three of wands. Before we flip over that, because what I felt was if, if Pisces was resonating with what we just pulled... And this is a person that has to do with your tower moment or someone that you've encountered. They don't have to necessarily do with your tower moment. I guess we'll see here. But if they did, okay. If they didn't, but like you had some sort of, like you were on the fence with that seven of swords about the type of energy this person is, right? Before we flip those over, what I'm seeing, well... Because the Seven of Pentacles... So this could be a person that just went off to... Like, had started something new in their life. Okay? In general. I'm not sure what that is. We'll see when we flip this over. What that might be for this person. But... This Emperor... This Justice card... This Three of Wands. So, like... And this Eight of Swords is peeking out under this Three of Wands. If this crush had to do with... Was sneaky in some way. Or made you question... Because your intuition, your, your spidey sense went off or something about them. You may be right. That's all I'm going to say. Just because this Emperor... And then he's looking at Justice. This possible Libra energy. But I'm feeling more so it has to do... 
that this person maybe wasn't or isn't fully honest, misuses their power, and that they choose this. And this Eight of Swords here, so, like, it's upright, I'm sure, yes. So, Eight of Swords is the person, like, usually I say, this is the person that's bound to something and they're not letting go, they're keeping themselves bound by choice. They're choosing not to let go of experiences, people, things, or something, and they're binding, like, they're like keeping themselves bound to the negative parts of those things. But upright, it's like them walking away, like releasing themselves from that. So, and I see the three of wands for me is this person that's choosing. They look very confident walking down the path. They're choosing the path. So I feel like this energy, this person, they might be a sneaky person. This could be a person that actually already, I just felt it for some, has already planted seeds in something, okay? For some, they may have recently got someone pregnant. That's that's very specific, and it's not for all of you, but I just felt it because this the seed thing. I just saw it. I felt it, so I said it. It's not for everyone. It's very specific, okay? But that's what I felt. So, and here, Justice is not blind. She wears no, you know, in my other deck, she's like, more like the traditional justice statue with the blindfold kind of peeking. But here she's not. Um, I just feel like there's something this... There's, this could be a possible Aries, a possible Libra energy, okay? The justice is here and the emperor. But I'm feeling like this is representing this energy, misuses their power. <sighs> is strategic with the truth that they share. And I'm basing this mostly because that the Seven of Pentacles made me feel a weird thing and the Seven of Swords that we saw before. And I'm kind of saying that that has to do with the Pisces. If you're still watching this and you're resonating, I feel like that Seven being on the side and what we saw is the Pisces intuition, the spidey sense kind of... So if you're resonating with that stuff, that's what I'm feeling here that that's what that has to do with. And this person chooses with this Eight of Sword to not hang on or bind themselves to that, like, um, Seven of Swords energy. To being... This could be a person that... The Seven of Swords, sometimes readers... I don't like the Seven of Swords. It makes me... It's my least favorite card. Other readers will sometimes be like, oh, it's a fibber, or it's someone lying about their feelings, or something. But, but, but usually I don't see it that way. It's very rare that I, some, you know, feel that from that card. So I'm feeling like it has more to do with the Pisces questioning if this person they have a crush on is honest and about those things that we saw. I came out with those cards. So let me see what came out here. The Wheel, the Six of Pentacles, the Hierophant. The Three of Cups. Here we see the King of Swords again. And we have a Queen of Swords. So I'm going to say this. This is what I immediately felt. And this isn't for all the Pisces. But for those of you who are resonating with what I said about a seed being planted. I feel like this person, for those, some of them, are married. They're already giving to something. So there's a wheel here. A Six of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Three of Cups, the King of Swords that we just saw, and the Queen of Swords. This is a divine pair for me. And sometimes what that means is a married couple, and they're next to each other. So I'm feeling like for some of you Pisces, this person, what they may have been deceitful about, if the Seven of Swords was representing that, if they are a liar, like they lied about seeds they've already planted somewhere. Um, this wheel of fortune for me, it's like, sometimes it's representing, it, it represents the wheel of life and how it spins and turns. And we can't always, well, we can't control the wheel of life, but I usually say we have to control ourselves in situations and things that we feel, you know, when we can't control other things, we have to control ourselves. That's a nice little, it has nothing to do with this person, but I'm just saying, but what this is saying to me is, like, this person is already on a path um, that they <laughs> they may be doing what they're doing because they feel like they have no control in this part of their life, okay? So they're trying to, like, 
this emperor here, control, um, even what I just saw was this person could be living a double life. That's not for everyone, Pisces. Especially with this path here, like they choose this path, um, okay. Their person could be a Libra. The sword, the sword she's holding here, uh, for some of, if it's resonating. Um, this sometimes represents a marriage, the Hierophant, okay. The Six of Pentacles, this is the energy, like it's person, they're already giving to something, okay. It could be something serious like a marriage. And here is the Three of Cups, which sometimes represents a third party. If not, you might, if you, if you are resonating with this and everything I'm saying, you already know, you're like, holy crap, right? Like, I, then this is you, the third party, sitting there with this cup, like, like, and there's the other person with their sword. And you would be aware, like, okay? So, that's for some of you. For others, uh, this could be someone that you, is trying to... <laughs> they could be so sneaky with this double life thing that they're legit, like, trying to build a friendship with you coming off like they're a stand-up, you know, honest, um, head over heart energy, like I said, you know, before, if that wasn't, like, attached to negative... the negative aspects or the negative traits that the King of Swords can be associated with. But like this is a divine pair, and this is I'm this is not the Pisces. That's what I'm feeling, okay. So, and for some rare Pisces that are tuning in that were not resonating with this whatever I said here, I said it. I don't want to keep repeating myself. I tend to do that. This could represent that this person, the the tower that I saw before. So, like, either that represents that you do know that there's something. This person could be like, I'm leaving this, but I don't think they are. Maybe that's what that Seven of Swords was about. Like, if you know, or they would have a child with this person, or they were like, I'm getting divorced, or, you know, something like that. But I don't think they're being as honest about it, if that's the case. Mm -hmm. Okay. This could be someone that... You met through a friend with the Three of Cups being here. Um, but, yeah. Uh, you could be like, I'm just, for some of you, you might be, the way her back is to this, it's almost like this could be things you don't want to see about the person. Okay? Um... And they could be cold. It could represent straight up that they're cold. Or you are, for some of you, you are in a third-party situation where this person has said they're going to leave whatever thing, that they're waiting for legal stuff to, like, come through or work at blah, blah, blah. Um, they're waiting. For, they haven't left because they don't want to lose their money. They're going to lose their money if or something to that effect, what they've already built or put seeds into Sorry, not seeds. What they planted. Their money. This coins. These coins. And they don't want to lose that. If, if, if you've been questioning, like, the reasons they've been giving you, I'm feeling like, yeah, they're not... They're not honest. Um, this, for me, is a strategic energy. Sometimes I say it's, like, the person that thinks... Like, they're playing chess... And even here, seeing this black and white board, it's like chess. They could play with the truth, be strategic about what they share. And for some of you, this person really has no problem walking down two paths at the same time, is what I just felt and heard. Oh. All right, that's what I'm seeing there for Pisces. All right, guys. Um, again, to support what I do, you could uh, like the videos. Please subscribe if you're not already. If you want to donate to me, you can buy me a coffee. If you would like a personal reading, contact me through email. And if you have requests of specific zodiac signs you want to see readings on, leave it in the comments and let me know. I hope to see you guys next time.